All right, here we are. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, when uh, Glenn reached out to me yesterday and asked me to be a part of this, I, without hesitation, said, absolutely, I'll help out. And um, what we're doing is we're having a 24-hour Facebook Live-a-thon. So there were 48 of us that agreed to go on and take up a half-hour time slot to do a live feed um, to help raise money for a young lady whose name is Michelle Marie Sri. Um, I don't know Michelle. I've never met her. Um, this is from my guys in um, Rise and Grind, and a lot of them are in the automotive industry. And um, she, from what I understand, her and her boyfriend, Chad, developed, um, I think it's some kind of software that really helps those guys out. And um, she just got diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. Um, I don't know anybody that hasn't been affected in some way um, by cancer. So, Michelle, we're with you and we're rooting for you. And, um, man, we've, we've raised a lot of money. Um, and I know you've gotten a lot of prayers, girl. Um, and that's really what we're asking for. So, if everybody could please, um, first and foremost, say a prayer for Michelle and Chad and her boys. Um, ask God to help them through this. It's going to be a tough time for them. Um, but he's with you, girl. He's with you. He's got you. We got you. Um, and then they've set up a page to take donations. I'm not sure how much money we've raised. Let's see, am I seeing comments? I see people waving. Hey, Glenn, Willie. Um, the website is, of course, my phone's dying. <laughs> The website is www. Help me out here, guys. Fightwithmichelle.com. If somebody could put that in the link uh, or in the comments, that would be awesome. Go to the link um, and donate whatever you can. Hey, Dave. Um, five bucks, ten bucks. I mean, it's really, you won't miss it. You won't miss it, and it'll help her out so much. I'm not sure. I have no idea, and I don't even know if there's a way we could quantify how many people we've spoke to today collectively since midnight last night when we started this thing, and we're going on through midnight tonight. Um, but, gosh, if we had a, just a dollar from everybody, it would be um, a lot of money. Thanks, Bambi. Thanks, Mike. Um, and then we've got some big donors on there. Some guy gave, like, five grand, and... Um, I think Glenn gave like 2500 and Josh Cummins has, has contributed. So um, that's going to be a huge help for her because, as I said, her and her boyfriend developed this, um, this software. They're entrepreneurs. They're self-employed. They don't have insurance. Um, I guess she has since gotten insurance somehow, and I wouldn't even want to think about how expensive that would be. Um, for her now in the, with this condition, but thank God she did, but it's going to be a huge financial burden on her family. So we're all trying to come together and help raise some money for her. So if you could, please go into the link and give a little bit. So, you know, and I'm thinking about this, and Lisa Copeland was on earlier and she was like, pack them peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Cause they're going to taste a whole lot better knowing that you were able to give um, to Michelle and help her cause and she's absolutely right maybe skip the Starbucks bring some coffee from home try the Keurig you know um, do whatever you can to help because it's gonna she's gonna need it she's really gonna need it um, and pray just keep praying so I gotta fill a half an hour here I was thinking about this last night like how am I gonna talk for a half an hour and then I thought hmm 
I'll probably be okay. <laughs> but I'm not really talking to anybody, so nobody's talking. You, you guys have to talk back to me. Um, I'm sitting here at work. Obviously, there's there's Kim. I worked um, I worked my usual Sunday shift up here in Cincinnati. Um, I'm currently sitting in Oakley. I never worked this store before. Um, beautiful store. But um, here I am. So I thought I'd just hang around after my, my shift. And I knew I'd have a little peace and quiet and time to to fit in and help Michelle out. Um, she just did her live 30 minute portion previous to me. So that's a pretty hard act to follow. She is such a beautiful girl. Um, just lovely. She sang a song for us and she did a really good job. That was a beautiful song, Michelle. Um, and um, man, I just think about she has the life that I would love to have. Um, she has a partner there with her who, who is very supportive and loves her. I brought my glasses for a reason. Um, she's got a beautiful family and a beautiful home. And um, man, you just got to wonder why. Just why. And um, sorry. <laughs> I've been a wreck all day watching this. Um, but you think why? Why did this happen to her? And we shouldn't. We really shouldn't ask. So, I'm not historically a religious person. I wasn't um, brought up in church. I don't go to church. I come to work on Sundays, obviously. Because <laughs> that's part of what we do. Um, but I, I feel like I have a relationship with God. And actually, one of the other members, Stephanie Toadvine, had challenged me to start reading the Bible. So, I've been reading the Bible. Um, I kind of set out doing that more from a literary sense, um, other than, a, than a religious one, but, um, some weird things have happened to me. Um, you start opening your eyes to the power of God and wow, he's, he's right there. He's right there. So where I'm at in the Bible right now is, um, I just got finished reading the book of Numbers, um, so read Exodus and Numbers, and now I'm on Deuteronomy, um, <laughs> so that's all about um, Moses taking the children out of Israel and um, through the wilderness to claim their, their land, and um, they're so ungrateful, we are so ungrateful, they're going through, and he's done all of these amazing things, and so... When I started reading um, the Exodus and all the things that God was doing and he kept hardening Pharaoh's heart so he wouldn't let them go. And I thought, why? My God, why? You know, stop with the frogs or something. That was enough. But um, to go through and, um, and take all of the firstborn of the people <laughs> and... Um, and saving the children of Israel so that they could go through this land. Why did they have to suffer through this so much? Because um, we're stubborn. We are stubborn. They wouldn't have. And they still didn't. They still didn't believe in God. You know, he takes Moses up on Mount Sinai. And he's talking to him for a minute. And next thing you know, they've got a bull in the fire. <laughs> that they're worshiping. And Because um, we are stubborn. And we are ungrateful. And he loves us anyway. Um. He understands that we're flawed and we do things and um, and he loves us through it anyway so that's what I'm doing with the Bible but um, it got me to thinking you know why, why do things happen to people and you know it seems like they do everything right and um, and still these bad things happen and then you see these terrible human beings that that seem to get everything that goes their way and you don't understand and um, watching through some of these um i love you too bambi um some of these lives it kind of helps you to understand you know god chose moses bless his heart he uh he lived his whole life and had to lead these stubborn the stubborn group of human beings through the desert and <laughs> you know all of this stuff and listen to all their ungratefulness but he was chosen to do that by god and he never questioned why me um he did it because he knew he was chosen and so I'm sitting here part of this 
liveathon that's never been done before that I know of. If you all have heard of anything like this happening before, please let me know because I don't think it has. Um, it's pretty remarkable. And um, I think, Michelle, you are so special. You're so incredible. And you have the ability to reach so many people and to bring us all together like this. Who else could have done that? Who else could he have chosen to do something this incredible? And you're going to beat this. You're going to beat this. We're going to look back at this and be like, wow. How great is God? Um, how great is God? <sighs> so I'm just checking the time here. Um, so I wrote down a few things. Um, from the Bible. Again, we are here to raise money for Michelle Shree. Um, I need you to share. If you have not shared this, share it now. Share, share, share. <laughs> the more people that see this, the more money we can get, and and that's more help for Michelle. Um, there's a link in the comments. Um, please click on there and give whatever you can. If it's a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars, you won't miss it. Go on and give a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how much how much money have we raised so far, guys. I think we started out with a goal of ten thousand dollars, and we hit that by like eight o'clock this morning or something crazy. And now we're, I think we're almost at twenty five thousand. We raised the goal to fifty, and we're on pace to get there. Man, that's huge. That's huge. That's that's powerful stuff right there, guys. Um, <laughs> so. Oh, I got my new shirt in. I wanted to show it off. Check it out. My hashtag unrecognizable shirt. Uh, <laughs> I've given myself some unrecognizable challenges that have been challenging to say the least. So, um, hopefully this will be a little bit of a reminder, motivation. Go get it. Do it. Keep running. Don't run far. Don't run fast. But I run. <laughs> um, thanks, Glenn. So, um, that's what we're doing. But a couple of things that I, I wrote down, um, some quotes that I wrote out of the Bible. Um, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. That's from Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Um, and that's true. Um, Ryan Smith had an amazing live video earlier. Um, he had me crying. All y'all had me crying today. But, um, <laughs> he said, um, he said something that I think bears repeating. Um, he said, God came to him and said, I have built the bridge from devastation to hope always been there yeah you've got to get up and walk um, that's good stuff man um, that's good stuff for real um, and you know another thing that was said was um, the struggle is your gift and it's so hard to see that when you're going through it it is um, I had a really rough year last year and um, still struggle from time to time with some things, but man, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I am or who I am today if I hadn't gone through um, some of those struggles. So it's really hard to be grateful when you've gone through those trials and tribulations in your life. Um, but that's that's what it is your struggle is a gift um, and it makes you stronger um, Josh O said something earlier too he said we are dangerous because of what we know we can endure and that's true um, you know you meet somebody that's that's been through hardships and have come through and have endured um, all of these things that's one tough cookie so watch out um, 
and it does. It makes you dangerous. So, Michelle, you are going to be dangerous, girl. They better look out because you got this. <laughs> um, and then Mindy earlier, she was funny. She said, you got to throw on your red lipstick and go, girl. So, get you some red lipstick. I'm going to. I don't think I'll ever forget that. I'll wear red lipstick for the rest of my life now. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Jason. You can laugh at me. I do. Um, so, that's what we're doing. We got a, got a share. Share. If you have not shared, please share the video. Hi, Gail. Um... And then go to the link www.fightingwithmichelle.com. Give a little bit. Give a lot if you can. Give what you can give. Um, I think I'm going to grab the kids. And um, I've got some days off later in the week. And we're going to do something. We're going to scrap some metal. Or we're going to come up with a way to make some money. Those two, man, they are, um, they'll figure it out. If there's something they want bad enough and they need to make some money, they will figure it out. Um, they're creative. They make, they raised all the money that they needed to go to summer camp this year. So um, I'll get those guys on it, Michelle. We'll get you. We'll get you a little bit more cash through that too. Um, and I'm sure there's plenty of scrap metal in my garage that could be cleaned out anyway. But um, we're gonna do something. And I'm gonna stop on my way out of here and run across to Myers and get some peanut butter and jelly because Lisa Copeland said that would make a fantastic lunch. I might not do that actually because um, I didn't know this but they said that sugar um, feeds cancer. That's awful. Ain't that the devil's work? Really? Uh, anyway, I should probably cut sugar out of my diet anyway so um, Hey, Josh. Oh, I might do some turkey sandwiches, Lisa, on wheat bread. Or is that too bad? That's carbs. That turns into sugar. Shit. I'll, I'll figure out. I'm bringing my lunch this week is the point. I'm not eating out at all. I'll eat salads anyway, so that should pr pr be pretty easy to prep and throw in. So I want to free up some extra funds to throw your way. Um... Oh, I know. I don't eat processed foods, Mike. I cut that out a long time ago. The devil. It, it's so good, though, man. Come on. No sugar. Really? <clears throat> anyway, I digress. Wrap it in a lettuce. That's it. That's what I'll do. I will get turkey, and I'll wrap it in lettuce. I'll have lettuce wraps. That's fantastic. With avocado, because I have some at the house already. Hmm, thanks guys. Yep, I read labels, Mike. I do all of that. Um somehow can't seem to get rid of this weight, but that's for, that's for another live video. We'll do that unrecognizable challenge another day. I'm gonna walk around a little bit because I can't stand sitting still. Um so I copied a couple of um Bible verses here. The next one I got is from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and hope. And he does. I tell you, it doesn't matter what you're going through. I promise you there is somebody who has it worse. <clears throat> kind of in the last week or so, I've gotten into this whole rut of self-pity for some reason. I, I don't know. <clears throat> and woe is me and why is this happening and boy this pr really puts things in perspective um, when you hear a story like Michelle's and and see the struggles she's going through I gotta stop complaining I gotta stop complaining because I have it pretty good I've got a job I love I've got a beautiful family beautiful house a little Mazda 6 I got from Dan Cummins. Gets me here and there. So, and I write my gratitude list every day. And good health is one thing that I put on there every single day. Um, 
I am, I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I got to get off this self-pity thing, man. Um, look around you. You got it. You got it good. There's somebody out there, I promise you, that has it worse. <coughs> so, that's going to be, I guess I can make that an unrecognizable challenge, can I? No self-pity. No more complaining. Um, for those of you that just jumped on, what we're doing is a 24-hour Facebook Live-a-thon. Please share the video so we can get this out to as many people as possible. We're raising money for my new friend, Michelle. Um, she just got diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. Um, she's self-employed and an entrepreneur. So is her boyfriend. Get into this thing with no insurance. Um, she needs money. So, um, it's not going, Karen. It's not, but it needs to be. Um, I've got to make that a priority. I really do. <clears throat> yeah. Um, go to www fightingwithmichelle.com I think I got that right um, donate what you can any little thing will help any little thing will help um. hey guys alright I got about nine more minutes so I'm just walking around the store here in Corinthians, God said, For we walk by faith, not by sight. That's tough to do sometimes. You know, it's it's hard when you face things. And I can't imagine how you feel right now, Michelle, um, to have that faith. You know, just to know God has a purpose. He has a plan. And Vicky says it all the time, let go, let God. That's kind of what I did with this video. I told him last night, I, I just feel like um, he's going to guide me through and tell me what to say. I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot of prep work for this on purpose because I really didn't feel like I needed to. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm not a Facebook liver like, you know, Glenn gets on at 530 every morning and does his show. And then Sean gets on and does his thing and... This is not my forte. Clearly, I don't even have a selfie stick. Y'all are looking at me all up close. But uh, um, we make it work. Um, I didn't even hesitate when um, when Glenn asked me to do this. Hey, Rob. Sorry I missed you, man. I was hoping you could come over here today. I didn't know you were leaving that early. Um, but call me. Sorry for the private side conversations, you guys. Um, <laughs> what I'm doing, Rob... Is um, we're raising money for my friend Michelle who just got diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer so we're doing a 24-hour live-a-thon on Facebook <laughs> there were um, 48 of us that agreed to go on and do half-hour time slots just to share her story and ask people to donate what they could so if you could go on and help out that would be fantastic any any little bit will help I was trying to think of some creative way to uh, to put a dollar behind my donation. I don't know. I'll do a dollar for every share. I might. I don't know how many shares I'm going to get though. I don't know if that's good enough. I'll figure it out. And then me and the kids are going to do something. So Thursday and Friday this week is going to be a. Uh, fundraising fun with the workmans in Kentucky <laughs> thanks guys um gosh now I feel like I'm just filling in time I got about six more minutes man Michelle was awesome wasn't she she is such a lovely person uh, she's just beautiful and a beautiful voice I'm not sure where she where do they live at um I thought I heard her say something about Seattle. So you can watch on YouTube or if you go to the website, www.fightingwithmichelle.com, there is a YouTube video that um, talks about her journey. She has um, chronicled it all in video. 
So it starts with um, with her in the car when she um, first goes to the doctor and, and is kind of freaking out about it, and all the way up through, you know, this last week. So um, you can see all about her story, and she's just gorgeous. And then I saw today where um, she was at the lake. It looked like with her family. So glad you out to get out and enjoy the the beautiful day. Man, the weather has been absolutely fantastic here in Kentucky. I'm not sure where you're at, Michelle, um, but it's been beautiful here, and it looked like it was a beautiful day wherever you are, so great job. I'm glad you got to get out and, uh, and enjoy a little bit of that. Hello, Mr. Hinkson. Oh, hey, Sean. I missed your comment. Oh, thanks, Mike. Yeah, so Mike just um, dropped it in the video. A full playlist from today's videos. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's fantastic. I, like, felt bad about going to sleep last night. I tried to fight it off, and I couldn't. And then I ended up oversleeping this morning, and it was just a, tra it was a train wreck. Um, so, cool. I can go back. You can go back and watch everybody's live videos. That's fantastic. Go watch Ryan Smith's. That one was really good. Mindy was just on. She was really good. Of course, I just talked about Michelle. Hers was great. Uh, man, there were just some really powerful testimonies out there today. Oh, in Seattle. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. That's awesome. That, so, that's Chad that just, um, that just commented there. That's Michelle's boyfriend. So, man, we are praying for you. You have got so many people on your side. It's incredible. Like, it's just, it's amazing. It's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. Personally, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I don't know. I've, I've never, <laughs> which when you got Glenn Lundy at your, on your side, man, that guy, he can put some stuff together with a quickness. Um. You know what? He he just trusts in God. He just lets God lead him and tells him what to do, and he doesn't question it. You know, and that's kind of what I wanted my video to be about. That's that's what we all have to do. You just have to trust and believe that you have a purpose. There's a reason. There's a reason for everything. There's a reason for your triumphs. There's a reason for your struggles. There's a reason for all of it. God has a plan. And don't question that. Don't sit around and, oh, poor me, and oh, why me? It's his plan. You just got to go with it. And I know it's tough sometimes. I know it's hard. Um, you just got to let go and let God. Yes, it, it absolutely is, Alicia. It is a miracle in action. Um, Chad, Michelle... You got a whole, whole lot of people worldwide. There was somebody on from Bali earlier. People from Australia have been on doing videos to support these guys. It's been huge. Um, so I just thank you guys. Thanks to everybody that's on now, everybody that shared, everybody that is donating, all the prayers. And we're just going to keep on praying. It's just going to keep on coming. And so much love. We love you guys. Um, I don't even know you, Michelle. I don't know you, Chad. But um, but I love you guys. I do. Um, anybody that's a friend of Glenn Lundy's is a friend of mine. Um, we're all in this Rise and Grind group to help support each other and lift each other up and become unrecognizable. Oh, crap, that's backwards. Oh, well, you all know what it says. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm not really sure who's up next, but that's about the end of my time. Um, hope I didn't do too awful bad for you. Um, we're going to keep on going. We're going till midnight. So thank you all so, so very much. Have a blessed day, and I love you all.